through faith. Also, Sarah herself received strength. And notice this. Sarah received strength by faith. You get that? By faith, her body was strengthened so that she could have a child. Okay? She herself received strength to conceive seed and was delivered of a child when she was past age. Why? Because she judged him faithful who had promised. Now get this. Faith, God considers faith when you consider him faithful. That's all faith is. Faith is considering God faithful. See, we always put it back on us. When we put it back on us, my faith, how much faith do I have? My faith is weak. My faith is strong. I don't know if I have enough. That is actually religious humanism because it comes back to you and puts it all on you. And so now, because of faith teaching, which God bless faith teaching, all right? And listen, if it wasn't for faith teaching, we couldn't know what we know today. But we have to understand that just because it helped us doesn't mean it was all accurate or true or correct. And we have to realize, because one of the things that people try to do is they will try to uh, get you to have faith in your faith. Okay, the Bible doesn't tell us to have faith in our faith. The Bible tells us to have faith in him. Okay, now, when you have faith in your faith, that's humanism. And that's why you see so many faith people walk around proud. Why? Because they talk about my faith, my faith, my faith. I can do this, I can do this. And it's as if they have exercised their faith muscle and they want to walk around saying, look at my muscles. And the fact is, it's all about them whenever faith is all about God. And so you have to realize, when you judge him faithful, that promise, God says, that's faith. So that's what faith is. See, we've made faith hard by believing certain things. We've turned faith into currency. Heavenly currency, we could even call it. Well, if you get enough faith, well, let me see, I'm almost there. Don't have quite enough Maybe, maybe if I wait another week, I'll get another allowance, and maybe then I'll have enough faith. See, that's the way people view faith. No, you can have faith to move mountains instantly because you choose to believe in a God who can move mountains. Amen. You understand? So don't worry about your faith. Now, understand, you should have faith, right? But you have to understand that the faith that you operate in is based on your faith that he is faithful. 